Another world-class scientist came to China, his name is Daniel Povey, known as the father of Kaldi, an open-source speech recognition tool. Many people may not know his name, but the Apple Siri you have used uses the technology developed by Daniel. What is the reason for such a powerful figure to choose China with top technology? The answer was unexpected, he was forced to leave by the Americans. Why is this? Why would anyone reject a genius? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Ok, let's move on to today's topic. In today's video, let's talk about the story of Daniel Povey and China. Daniel is extraordinary in that he is a pure scientist. Looking back at his beautiful and glamorous resume, a young genius, a PhD from the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom, came to the United States after graduation, and joined IBM, the world's largest information technology company. His main direction is voice recognition. In 2008, Microsoft, the world's largest technology company, invited him with a million dollars. During this period, he developed the famous Kaldi voice recognition system. This system is awesome. It is a commercial voice recognition framework and the most popular open source voice recognition tool. Siri and many other software are all built on on top of this framework. He is also known as one of the world's top voice geniuses. Microsoft has made a huge fortune from him, and Daniel has also been promoted with a salary increase but he is not satisfied. He wants to go further in the field of voice intelligence. Obviously, a commercial company like Microsoft cannot meet his endless learning requirements. So he resigned and joined Johns Hopkins University as an associate professor in the Center for Language and Speech Processing, where he lectured and did research. The salary of an associate professor is obviously not as good as that of a researcher in a technology company. But Daniel said, at least I don't have to be bothered by commercial interests. He was the most popular teacher among the students, but such stability did not last long. In 2019, due to the Floyd incident, the black movement broke out in the United States. Some people took the opportunity to beat, smash, loot and burn on the street. Everything was messed up. The chaotic situation spread to the campus. Daniel's university decided to set up a police station on campus to protect the safety of students. Unexpectedly, it was protested by some radical students. They opposed the police station and blocked the school gate, occupying public places. Daniel's research base was occupied by protesters, and the students locked the laboratory, so he couldn't get in at all. In this sudden and chaotic situation, the server in the laboratory computer room may be damaged at any time, which is a disaster for his research. Daniel contacted the school as soon as possible, but they said that there was nothing they could do, so they only asked him to wait patiently. For scientific research workers, research competition is quite fierce. If he can't continue to research, then it is very likely that his competitors will surpass him in just a few days. Once other people's research results are made public, all your previous efforts will be in vain. In desperation, he had no choice but to force his way into the laboratory with his students. Those protesting students spread rumors that he was a racist. At this time, the school actually issued a notice to dismiss Daniel on the grounds of endangering the safety of students. Daniel was saddened by his dismissal but the outside world was very excited when they heard that he was leaving. Google, Facebook and other big companies took action one after another. Daniel finally chose Facebook, but everything is not that simple. Facebook's personnel department first asked him to develop a press conference to publicly apologize for the school's dismissal and minimize social impact. Daniel was angry, he thought there was nothing wrong with me to apologize. The Human Resources Department also said that he was allowed to enter the job as a short-term contract worker and then become a regular worker after a period of time. 
Daniel was even angrier, forcing an industry expert to be a contract worker. This is a blatant humiliation. He refused to communicate with Facebook anymore, and he also lost his expectation of the United States. At this moment, Xiaomi Group sent him an invitation. In 2019, Daniel boarded the plane to China. This top scientist who came from afar is highly valued in China, and he serves as the chief scientist of Xiaomi's voice recognition team. In 2021, at Xiaomi's global press conference, people were surprised to find that the famous father of Kaldi had actually arrived in China. He said that he doesn't need a high salary, just a purely technical environment. He said he likes the freedom here, and after the epidemic is over, he will bring his youngest daughter to China to go to school. And his arrival also set off a huge change in the industry. An executive of BM China bluntly said, Daniel Bovey is a top expert and the cornerstone of our industry. He will definitely help us make a huge breakthrough when he comes to China. The leader of Huawei's voice recognition team also said that his arrival will completely change the industry. At present, Daniel officially announced that great progress has been made, and Xiaomi's voice recognition 2.0 technology has been initially completed. This means that in fields such as voice recognition and artificial intelligence, China has come to a leading position. In addition, with the blessing of this technology, China will go more smoothly in cutting-edge technological fields such as autonomous driving and robot production. In fact, China attracts more than just a Daniel. David Brady, a top scientist who was abandoned by the United States, came to China when he was at his worst because of lack of financial support for technical projects. China gave him great support and funding, and eventually developed a super camera. China's monitoring system uses this technology, and the police can use cameras to capture the faces of criminal suspects at a distance. In addition, both space exploration and seabed research are inseparable from this technology. In 2016, the United States regretted it and invited him back again, but Brady refused, because what is important to him is not money, but respect. In 2018, Mario Segedi, the winner of the Godel Prize and an American computer expert, joined Alibaba Dharma Academy in China. In 2019, Maikoshiba Kotsuhiko, a neurologist known as Japanese Wisdom, joined the Institute of Immunochemistry, Shanghai Tech University. In 2021, French super mathematician and Fields Medal winner Laurent Lafigue signed with Huawei. In 2021, Fujishima Akira, a famous Japanese scientist and the father of photocatalysis, will enter the University of Shanghai for science and technology with his entire team. In 2022, Japan's godfather of chips Yukio Sakamoto joined a semiconductor company in Shenzhen, China. Such top scholars, for a more ideal scientific research environment, they all choose China. In the past, more than 10,000 top talents from Tsinghua University and Peking University stayed in Silicon Valley alone, and the number of brain drain in China ranked first in the world. Now, everything has turned around. Not only are the talents who have gone abroad returning one after another, but top talents from other countries are also pouring into China. Do you know any foreign geniuses who came to China? Be free to tell me more about them in the comment area. Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.